Hello there, my name's Heather and I'm one of the plastic surgeons here at Waikato. I'm going to talk to you about the surgical journey that takes place when you have a suspicious mole that needs removing and also the further surgery that happens once you have a definite diagnosis of melanoma. Let's consider the first scenario. Either you have a new suspicious mole or an old one that has shown some recent change. If we feel there are some concerning features then in the first instance we will recommend that it be surgically removed and sent to the laboratory for the pathologist to look at and diagnose whether or not it is a melanoma. This is called an excisional biopsy. The excisional part means that we remove the whole of the mole with a narrow border of normal tissue around it and the biopsy part means it is sent for analysis to diagnose what it is. The excisional biopsy is what we call a minor procedure and you will be able to go home the same day. However, you may be at the hospital for a whole morning or afternoon waiting with several other patients, so do bring a good book as there will be a degree of waiting around. The surgeon will explain the operation to you and will draw around your suspicious mole. We take two millimetres of normal tissue around the mole and draw an elliptical shape that allows easy closure of the ensuing wound. Next we will inject some local anaesthetic into the area to numb it. This does sting and make your eyes water a little, but it ensures the area is numb for the operation. We will then get you into a comfortable position for the surgery before cleaning the area with some sterile solution and then covering you in green or blue drapes. This is to keep things as clean as possible. We will then remove the mole, stopping a little bit of expected bleeding with a cautery device. We will stitch the wound together, leaving it feeling a bit tight. The stitches may be dissolving or non-dissolving, depending on where on your body the mole is. We will also apply a dressing for you and give you instructions as to how to look after the area, when to have your stitches removed and when you will be seen for the results of your mole. Once you have been told you have a melanoma, we will advise you about the further treatment known as a wide local excision. This involves removing a larger chunk of tissue around the scar where your melanoma was. Research and studies have shown clearly to us that by removing a further one to two centimetres all the way around the scar, there is a reduced risk of your melanoma returning in the same place. The wider excision usually entails a very similar process to the excisional biopsy except that the area removed is wider and deeper. This therefore means a longer scar that will feel a lot tighter. We once again send off the tissue for analysis in the pathology laboratory. On some parts of the body where there is inadequate skin laxity, we may not be able to close the wound directly. However, we have various manoeuvres for covering the gap and this can include using a shaving of thin skin from elsewhere. This is called a skin graft and it leaves you with a sore patch rather like an abrasion on your thigh that will heal by itself over time with dressings. An alternative method to this is to raise and move around some of the tissue nearby called a flap that will then inset into the defect leaving you with a non-linear scar. Grafts and flaps are often still done as a day procedure under local anaesthesia but occasionally we may keep you in the hospital overnight if you need a bit of extra help. Once again, we will give you careful instructions with regards to resting and wound care and will advise you when to have the surgical wounds checked and stitches removed. We will arrange to see you in the clinic three to four weeks after the procedure to check that all is healing well and to give you the results of that further tissue that has been removed. At the clinic we will also give you advice regarding self-examination and precautions to take with the sunshine and will explain your ongoing follow-up and surveillance regime.